Oh man, alright guys, finally got some time to talk about the Zack Snyder cuck. That's what I call it, the Zack Snyder cuck. For all you Snyder cucks out there. <laughs> no, I refuse to call it the Snyder cut because, well, you know, a director's cut is always just a slightly different kind of take than the original. And this is massively different because it introduces, like, new actors, new voice actors, new characters, and... Yeah, it's a bit more than that. <laughs> I still don't really like the movie very much. Um, I think it's at least half bad, half good, somewhere around there. Maybe a little more on the side of bad. <laughs> just because it, it has to branch off of the storylines of Man of Steel and BVS, which aren't very good either. So, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, it's a mess. Um, but they kind of unmessed it with uh, this new Snyder cuck. Um, but uh, it's still largely not a very good movie. Um, but uh, that being said, it, it, it's kind of hard to critique this thing just because... Uh, you know, uh, the first one in 2017, that was a movie-going theater experience. And then you got the Snyder Cuck, which is, uh, you know, you mooch off your friend's HBO Max subscription. So it's kind of hard to compare the two in terms of value because, you know, completely different viewing experience and price point and, it, you know... it. it so, you know, I don't want to be too harsh, but it's still largely the same movie, but they added a bunch of new shit, too. So it, it's kind of like, um, the best way I can describe this is it's like Destiny, the video game. Not a very good video game from the get-go. Then they patch the game and add a bunch of DLC, and it's still not a very good game, but I guess it's better. <laughs> right? I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, like I said, it's hard to critique this thing. But, uh, anyway, um, yeah, they fixed a bunch of stupid shit, and they added some stupid shit that doesn't really make much sense, or doesn't have much of a place in the, uh, storyline, but whatever. Um, yeah, they, uh, they got rid of that sexist trope crap that, uh, Joss Whedon always uses, where a guy falls on top of a girl, Ooh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to touch your boobs. Ha ha ha, what a fucking joke, right? Yeah, it's not really funny when you do it all the time and you're a sexist asshole in real life, Joss Whedon. So, <laughs> like, you know. Anyway, they took that shit out, which is good, because that shit's stupid. But they fuck up by making the Flash look like a creep in a different way, unfortunately. There's this girl character that he kind of has a crush on that he bumps into and... She gets into a car accident where she's about to get killed or horribly disfigured, and he uses his flash powers to run over there and save her. But during that process, he, like, touches her face and hair a little bit through creepy, creepy admiration, I guess you could, is the way to put it. I don't know. It, it was weird. It was weird, man. It made him look like a creep. Like, him accidentally falling on Wonder Woman could be one thing, but this is him on his own, through his own will, being a creep. And I think it's actually worse. So, yeah, good job, Snyder. <laughs> what the fuck? And then, um, there's this scene uh, in the movie where they revive Superman, but he's, like, blood drunk and confused and doesn't know what's what, and he's fighting the Justice League. And it's kind of stupid. But, um, uh, immediately after this fight sequence, uh, <clears throat> in the original Joss Whedon version, what's his name? Uh, the villain, Steppenwolf. Steppenwolf. He, uh, shows up and he's just like, ooh, the mother box, and yoink, and takes it off the ground and disappears. It's like that quick and easy. So that was dumb. But they fix that in this by making it so that he has to get the mother box from Cyborg's dad, and they're t too slow to stop him. And this is this is really dumb in my opinion because it it this part is another one of Zack Snyder's tropes of killing off a dad character for for pretty mediocre reasoning, <laughs> and that's what happens here. 
he kills himself by like heating up the uh, the room where where the mother box is in, but he's in the room with it, so he gets heated up real good and he burns to death. Uh, but he heats up the mother box in the process, and then uh, the villain snatches the mother box. But because he heated up the mother box, it, it's going to help the Justice League track the mother box down and find uh, this asshole later and kick his ass later. That's the reasoning. So you see how I had to jump through a few, you know, hoops there and, and take a second to explain it. And Wonder Woman and uh, Batman are pretty big exposition machines in this thing. So they explain it to you and all that. And I don't know. It just seems kind of like the movie recognizes it, it fucked up on so many levels and is going back to try to fix all these mistakes. And it's like I said, it's a mess. Uh, but they do fix a lot of the things, which is good. Um, and uh, the villain is extremely pointy, which I thought was funny. They made him pointier than <laughs> in the last one. He looks better, but he also still looks kind of stupid. <laughs> it's weird. Um, uh, yeah, he talks to Desaad and Darkseid. And uh, yeah, they, they don't really do much in the movie. It's kind of unfortunate. Um, a lot of the new characters and whatnot are kind of just there for show and don't really have much of an impact on the story. Yeah, it's kind of lame. Um, let's see. Uh, the ending is better. The ending is definitely better when it comes to defeating the villain in the Joss Whedon version. They, like, scare him. <laughs> and, and his own parademon army turns on him because they prey on fear and whatnot. So I thought that was kind of dumb because i mean what a shitty weakness that is right i mean hey boo oh you scared me uh oh my own army's gonna kill me now you know <laughs> it's kind of stupid all you gotta do is make the guy panic a little bit um so anyway uh but they they di did it better in this version in this version they fail at first and Darkseid almost uh, ends up winning out, but then Flash uses his, you know, like, super speed and reverses time to a degree, giving him the edge. And, uh, what's her name? Uh, Wonder Woman chops his fucking head off, which is really cool. Um, uh, yeah, I appreciated uh, Zack Snyder giving her character, uh, Wonder Woman, a little bit more screen time there. You know, fleshing her out a little bit more, making her a little more likable, and then bam, she chops off the villain's head. She gives, uh, Zack Snyder gives her the fucking killing blow on the villain. Yeah, and and then he also gave, uh, um, what what's his name, Cyborg, more screen time. A black actor gets more screen time. Hmm, what is going on here? Is Zack Snyder some kind of SJW? <laughs> And speaking of which, uh, Zack Snyder, he, uh, he came out to tell um, some of the more toxic uh, Nazi bootlicking uh, pieces of shit fans in his fandom to go fuck themselves. Yeah, well, he said it in a really nice way. He said that he doesn't appreciate those kinds of people and, and that kind of rhetoric and that Justice League is about coming together and unity and it's not about hate. And that was really nice of him to say that shit. Yeah, the guy's been through uh, some serious shit, you know, it, it, the stuff that happened with his daughter that, you know, that's, that's hard, man. And like, say what you will about Zack Snyder, whether you think he's a good person or a bad person, like, that's still really hard to go through. And um, I think he's becoming a better human being. I think uh, these hard experiences in life have made him more sympathetic to others. It happened to me. I used to be a gigantic asshole. You guys know that uh, I, I spent a lot of time on Xbox Live back in the day just yelling and screaming at people like a little shit. It's because I was. Uh, then eventually 2011 came along and my dad died and I had to go through all kinds of hardships and I uh, started to realize that maybe I shouldn't be a dickhead. Maybe I should understand that life is hard and cruel a lot of the time and that you should, you know... Try to, try to be helpful instead of just a drag, you know what I mean? So anyway, uh, I feel that Zack Snyder uh, has pretty much gone through life with a silver spoon up his ass and never really had any hardships and whatnot, and I think uh, that happening to him kind of, kind of, you know, that was, 
sorry, I'm not, I'm not good at talking about these kind of emotional things, but, you know, I kind of feel bad for the guy is all I'm saying. Anyway, but, uh, yeah, and he, apparently he also said that uh, he's not going to do that I Ayn Rand movie, which would be fucking terrible. So that's good. And, um, yeah, he said that he supports Biden and Kamala Harris. And I think those people are assholes, but, hey, he's not supporting Trump, so that's good. Trump's the worst. You know, like, don't get me wrong, Democrats, Republicans, they all suck, pretty much. But, uh, largely, these days, the Republicans are f fucking worse, and it's pretty obvious. So, like, that's a good thing that he's on the lesser evil side, I guess. <laughs> fucking politics, right, man? Anyway, uh, but yeah, uh, I think Zack Snyder has turned over a new leaf. He's becoming a better human being, and, uh, I appreciate that. Um, another thing about his movie, though, that kind of sucks is Martian Manhunter is revealed, and he was here this whole fucking time not helping? <laughs> so, like, kind of makes you think he's an asshole or something? I don't know. I have a real big problem with the DCU overall, uh, especially the Snyder movies. But a lot of um, the extreme Snyder Nazi bootlicking type fans out there, they're really gigantic assholes like i can't criticize this franchise without them fucking calling me an f word you know uh, um, you know homosexual that kind of thing like they're real dicks they're just dicks you know what i mean like like i i can't be like i think the lex luther actor sucks ass and i don't think they should uh have him like they get mad when i say things like that <laughs> yeah like jesus christ Anyway, whatever. Um, but here's the thing I was going to say about those Nazi bootlicking uh, DC fans. You assholes out there, like, we disagree on a lot. But we, we can all agree that the DCU largely sucks. Like, I know you guys love that Zack Snyder shit. But I know you fucking hate Wonder Woman movies. I know you weren't really thrilled with Aquaman. I know you weren't really thrilled with Shazam, especially because the actor came out in defense of Brie Larson when you dickheads were being unreasonably sexist pieces of shit about the Marvel, uh, Captain Marvel movie. So, like, like, I know that you dickheads don't like most of this uh, franchise. You shit on Birds of Prey. In a lot of ways, you weren't down with the Joker movie because it's anti-capitalist. Um, and, uh, there's Suicide Squad, uh, 2 coming out here, and it's made by James Gunn, the motherfucker that you guys tried to cancel. So, <laughs> you know, I know you motherfuckers mostly hate this, fr this DCU, and I mostly don't like it either. I think it's mostly, uh, miss, not hit. So, I think they should just, uh, this is what I think they should do. I think in the new Suicide Squad movie, the giant evil starfish, I hope it kills everyone. <laughs> I hope it kills all, and that's the end of the DCU. That's the end, and they have to reboot the whole thing and start from scratch. That's what I'm hoping for. And in the new uh, Godzilla and King Kong movie, I'm hoping Godzilla and King Kong team up and kill all the humans because we're pieces of shit and we all deserve it. <laughs> that's what I hope happens. And uh, anyway, um, so uh, one last thing I want to say is the, um, the end scene where Batman becomes Mad Max. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, and uh, Joker joins, the, uh, joins ICE as a Border Patrol agent. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but the ending there, I, uh, a lot of people hated it. And I thought that was one of the better parts of this whole Snyder cuck thing. Um, Fucking Joker is all like, I'll give you the reach around, Batman. And Batman's like, I'll fucking kill you. Go talk to me that way. That was um, fucking hilarious. Like, I love that shit. But yeah, um, largely though, Batman as Ben Affleck is still terrible, especially in this movie. You could tell he really wasn't giving a shit, really wasn't working out. He's kind of a fat, slow Batman <laughs> through this movie. So not very good. Um, yeah, uh, Flash is terrible in it, Aquaman's pretty useless in it, I still don't agree with a lot of the original ideas they had, like, why are they bu burying a mother box in the forest, uh, I, I, <laughs> you know, why do, they, why do they need Cyborg's dad's help to track down the villain when three of, uh, no, uh, 
all of the goddamn Justice League in this movie have expert navigation abilities. Like, Wonder Woman can find whatever she needs. Superman can hear anything anywhere on the planet, basically. Batman has satellite surveillance everywhere. Cyborg can interact with all technology. <laughs> and uh, Flash is super quick. He can explore the world in, like, a minute. Why the fuck did... You know what I mean? Like, this is so dumb. Anyway, this fucking movie is not very good. I originally gave the first version, like, a 3 out of 10... Slightly better than uh, BVS, which I give a 2 out of 10. But this revised version, the Snyder Cuck version, since it's, you know, just objectively better because it has more content, even though it wastes a lot of your time and that much of that content is dumb, it's still more, it's still better, I guess. It's still more value. So I guess I would just give it a 4 out of 10. Sure. Why not? Who cares? Anyways, um, so yeah, now I want to talk about, uh, uh, um, what did I want to talk about? Sorry guys, I just woke up, and I'm always doing this, I'm always going, duh, I forgot what I was going to say. That happens to me way too much. I gotta get off my ass here in a little bit and go do some watering soon. Um, yeah, so yeah, uh, let me show you guys some content creators that I like. That I want you guys to watch. Here we go. Um, what is this? Oh yeah, O Lake. He's a good um, um, political YouTuber guy. Leftist, of course, because you know I don't want you guys watching Nazi bootlicking trash. Just, just saying. That's a, that's a bad thing. So anyway, O Lake. He's a good guy. He does uh, really good content. Gives really good takes. I uh, talked to him a few times. Really nice guy. Really cool. Um, and we got Mia Mulder here. She's a really nice lady. Um, does a lot of philosophical type videos. Real smart, real helpful. Definitely want to check her out. And I got the Tactical Gun Girl. She's pretty badass. Knows a lot about guns and stuff. Leftist. I always think it's funny that right wingers think that the left. They, it's like a stereotype that the left are a bunch of chicken bitches who don't understand guns. And it's like, no, not really. <laughs> Um, you assholes do realize that uh, a lot of leftists won World War II, right? Just saying. Anyway, uh, then we got this uh, Tara, Tara Moonkey lady. I can't say her name. Anyway, uh, yeah, she's really cool. Does a lot of videos on weirdos that suck, like Bong Shapiroid's crazy sister. That lady is fucking nuts. Uh, actual Jake over here. Uh, he's a cool dude. Been really digging his commentary. Uh, he did a video recently talking about uh, Jeremy at Geeks and Gamers. He's one of those uh, Nazi bootlicker dickheads who um, is a giant Zack Snyder fan, and Zack Snyder, like, told him off, <laughs> which is great. And fucking that dickhead's been sh been busy fucking playing it off. He even looks like a white supremacist. Look at him. Look at that ugly. He looks like, uh, yeah, ew. These are horrible people. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, um, oh yeah, Dinosaur Jr., they're doing some shit right now, that's cool. Uh, what do we got here? The Cavernacle, this guy's cool, um, I found him a little while ago, he does videos on all the weird internet nerd gamer buzz about anti-SJW type people. Um, anti-SJWs, just so you guys know, are largely pieces of shit. They may not be Nazis or KKK people necessarily. A lot of them are. But, um, yeah, they're fucking stupid, the anti-SJW types, you know? They're really fucking stupid. Uh, even a lot of them that, are, that swing kind of left, like uh, Actman here and uh, Angry Joe. Whenever they talk about, like, the left in gaming, they get it wrong every fucking time. They're so fucking stupid. <laughs> uh, let's see, this guy right here... Um, Christopher Morgan, he's a cool dude, yeah. He does uh, leftist content and always has a pretty good take. Really nice guy, talked to him a few times. Um, let's see. Uh, who else? Oh, yeah, Cat Black, she's a really nice lady. Trans uh, content creator, always has really good takes, too. She even put a fucking heart on my comment. Yeah, isn't that nice? Yep, so she's cool. Um, what else do we got here? Uh, I think that's it. I think that's all I wanted to show you guys for now.
So anyway, yeah. Um, so check those people out. They're really cool. And of course, check out Maggie Mae Fish. She's got probably the best take, I'd argue, on the Snyder Cuck. Um, Maggie Mae Fish is awesome. So yeah, if you didn't like my take on the movie, uh, hers would definitely be better because she's an actress and she's obsessed with film and she's really into it and would give uh, films a better shake than I would, for sure. Um, but yeah, if you're, if you're a film nerd, go check her shit out. And lastly, I want to say to all the Snyder cucks out there, um, if you really like that bro-y, super dark, violent, superhero, serious, everything is serious kind of, uh, kind of vibe that you get from the Snyder movies, if you're really into that, um, you Nazi guys, you, you might want to check out this show called Invincible that just came out a little while ago. It's uh, a superhero animated show on Asmodan, that horrible place known as Asmodan. Um, yeah, but it's a pretty cool show so far. I haven't watched the whole thing, so I can't say, but so far, the first three episodes that I watched, pretty kick-ass, but good God, it's a violent, fucked-up show. It is super violent. It's a, basically a superhero world that's sim similar to Justice League or Avengers, but, um, they, the, it's a fucked-up show. They introduce you to the League of superheroes that are good guys that protect the world and they're cool and they're interesting and a lot of them are just ripoffs of like wonder woman or aquaman or whatever the flash but yeah, whatever you know they're they're cool and they introduce you to these characters and you start getting to know them and then all of a sudden the superman type uh character in the group backstabs them all and brutally murders them it's disgusting like, he grabs the Flash rip off by the head and crushes his skull. And you get to see his eyeballs pop out and his brain matter fly everywhere. And you watch as, like, his fellow um, Justice League ripoffs, like, watch in horror as they're helpless to do anything about it. They're not, not strong enough to fight this guy. Uh, his name is, like, Omni-Man. He's basically Superman, but evil as fuck and... Like, something is wrong, and you don't even get to find out why he's doing this horrible shit. He just does it. And it's just gut-wrenching. Like, I'm still, like, disturbed from what I saw. That was awful. Like, imagine your favorite characters of the Justice League just getting their heads smashed open and their heads ripped off. Just, it's horrifying. It's totally fucked up. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's not a bad show. Animation's really good. Voice actors are choice, you know. They got that Steven Yoon, the Asian dude from Walking Dead, who got his head smashed open by uh, Megan, you know. Uh, it's got J.K. Simmons, you know, the guy from... You know, you know J.K. Simmons. Freelance, Peter Parker! You know, that guy. Um, <laughs> yeah, he, he, he does the voice for Omni-Man, the piece of shit. Uh, but yeah, it, it's a really cool show. Um, I've been digging it. Hopefully, it, the middle and the end is good. But yeah, uh, yeah. If you want to watch uh, some cool superhero shit, check that shit out. That stuff ain't fucking around, and it's extremely violent. That anime, in that interesting, yeah. Zack Snyder prides himself on his like visceral, like violent uh, visuals and whatnot. But sorry, Snyder, you don't hold a candle to this shit. This animated show is way more violent. Yeah, believe me. Believe me, guys. Trust me. Believe me. Believe me. Trust me, guys. The show is more violent than any Snyder movie. For sure. Like, it's so gross. I can't believe what I saw what I saw. Like, fucking... <laughs> anyway, check it out. Trust me, guys. But just be warned, it's extremely violent. It's called uh, Invincible, right? Did I say that? Yeah, the show is called Invincible. Check it out on Am Asmodon the evil corporation. So, uh, yeah, guys, uh, that does it for this video. Um, I guess I'll fuck off and go water the lawn. I'll see you. And, uh, yeah, be good to each other. And, uh, yeah, remember, if I said anything wrong in this video that offended you, I'm sorry. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I usually say that at the beginning of these videos, but I forgot. Anyway, later, guys.